Hey guys, welcome to another video from the Reaper blog. Today we're looking at the top three things that I like about Geist 2. I recently upgraded. If you've never seen Geist before, here it is in a nutshell. It's a beat making workstation from F Expansion. It can run as a standalone program or as a plugin inside your DAW. It's an incredibly powerful piece of software with um, eight engines and each engine can have many different pads and different sounds that you can have on different pads or in multiple layers within a single pad. So a single button press can trigger multiple sounds. You can play this with a pad controller or a keyboard controller. There's a full mixer with options to add effects to uh, individual pads, layers, or engines. You can easily send all of your sounds into the DAW to mix with any processing you like. It's just so powerful. There's so many great things about this. In this video, let's just look at a few of the things that I like to use in this new version. So the first thing is that you can resize the window pretty much as big or small as you like. In Reaper, I'm just going to extend the frame of this window a little bit. Now I can grab this corner and I can drag it smaller or I can drag it bigger, wide, narrow, uh, whatever you like. Along with that, you can kind of customize the interface a little bit as well. You can resize these, change the column widths. You can also double click on this border and it hides it. And the same with the editor window. So if you're doing a workflow that is mostly pattern arrangement, uh, this works great. You can also resize the editor to completely hide the patterns. And if you're mostly laying out your pads, you can make this nice and big, so you have a nice big browser view. So that's the first one, resizing and customizing the window. It's so much better than the original Geist, which only lets you collapse the browser, but you can't resize and you're kind of limited to this small view. My next favorite thing is the probability option in the sequencer. So I'm gonna to go to this hi-hat and I'm gonna draw in a little pattern, I don't know, maybe like this. Just kind of something at random. And here's how it sounds. And I'm going to go down to the playback and probability option. And now we can change the likelihood of this, uh, any one of these hits to actually play back. 100% means they're always going to play the pattern as shown, but we can randomize this. I'm going to switch to single view and go over to, uh, let's try this mod snare. No, this one. Okay, so we're going to probability. I'll change this one to 30%, this one to 80. You know, just something kind of random. And this one thing turns your pattern that could be very, very boring. Uh, when it plays the same way every time into something that's a little more random, a little more interesting, and you can get a lot of variation just with this one thing. So I love that. Next thing I want to show you is scenes. And scenes is not something that's new to Geist, uh, and it's not something that's really unique to Geist, but in Geist 2, it works really well. And it's a cool way of programming your sounds, and it's something you can actually do uh, with drum pads to trigger different patterns. Each of the eight engines can have a pattern selected and you can assign them all to one pad so they all trigger at once. So it's a great way of laying out your song. This is a, a preset song that I'm using here. So there are several scenes built already. Let's just go through the main one and a couple of the other ones and then I'll show you how to actually choose which sounds go into the scenes. So we choose a scene by clicking on it. We hit play. And this is set to immediate change. We 
can also set these to change on the next bar. Right? So I'll play it again. A lot of options right there, and we're choosing which patterns are playing based on which dots here are selected. So we're looking at the drums, and the pattern power is on, plus which pattern is enabled. So uh, it's playing this pattern here, so we can change it to this pattern instead. Press play. Change it again. or none. And it's the same process for every other sound that you want to add in here. So you choose a pattern and you make sure that pattern power is on. And if we like this, it's not currently saved as a scene. We can just click on snapshot to scene on any of the unused pads. And there are multiple banks of pads, so you can go as deep as you want with this and press that. And now every time we press this, it will play this arrangement of all the instruments. So incredibly powerful. Uh, Geist is a DAW unto itself. This is such an incredible piece of software with so much you can do. Yeah, I've kind of just shown you a few different things, but if you're interested in Geist 2, check it out from fxpansion, fxpansion.com. Highly recommend it. Such a fun program to play with. Hope you've enjoyed this video. Thanks a lot for watching. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Follow me on Facebook and Twitter. If you enjoy these videos, please consider being a patron on Patreon, patreon.com slash the reaperblog, and visit reaperblog.net for a lot more tutorials.